All right, I'm fixing to test the uh, Walkera QRX350 Pro that I've been testing the last few times with a 4S battery. So what I'm gonna test it with is a Nanotech 1800 mAh. It's a 25C with a 50C burst. Uh, if you look at the plug right there, you'll see it has five wires, so you won't see 4S on it and also the thickness. Uh, but looking at the wires, you'll see it's a 4S battery. So. Get it inside the quad. And then also get the battery buzzer plugged in here. Now. Let's see how this goes. I know it's going to be super fast. The PIDs may be off, um, going up in battery, I mean the PIDs were already tight on this thing to begin with. Um, so what we may end up seeing are some oscillations and stuff, um, but it's going to be ridiculously fast. Uh, now, oh it didn't bind. I plugged it in too late. Oh no, it bound. It was getting a GPS lock, but both LEDs were blinking at the same time. and I'm, that's not that's not common so let's see here we go it's doing right set the home point getting some uh startup issues all right hovering at 19 percent 20 percent the pids are definitely oscillating. Ho! I'm going to have to adjust the pids to run 4S, but let me see what a punch out is going to do here. Oh, wow. It's about as fast as I've ever seen a 350. That is unbelievable. It's a little bit hard to fly right now because of the pids being too high. I can easily say that this area is not enough room to be flying one of these on board. Damn! That is amazing. That's some serious power. That's. That's some serious speed. All that bouncing around and stuff as pids being off. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to get the throttle set right too. It's hard to fly because the throttle has to be down all the way down to like 10% to get it to come down. And then the pids are off. So once I get it tuned and everything tuned right, it's going to be awesome. That's it. Thanks for watching.